Okay, so that's your carotid artery. If I turn on my color Doppler, you can see your blood flowing in the artery here. Above it is your jugular vein, so that's the blood flowing in your jugular vein. So the signal, the ultrasound, is coming from the skin through the vein and then the artery. If I turn my transducer this way, this is called the short axis view of the artery and the vein. And we go back this way. So we can follow your artery down towards the base of your neck, or we can follow it up towards your head. This is called the common carotid. When we get to this point here, this is called the carotid bulb. That's where your artery bifurcates into two arteries, uh, uh, external and internal carotid. So if we look at it, for example, in the short axis view, you can see that better. Here we have one artery, now two arteries. So that all looks fine. Now we're going to turn the color off so we can take our measurements. Typically plaque starts at the bulb in this bifurcation point. You don't have any down here and you don't have any up in the bulb. It usually starts in the bulb and then spreads from there. But I don't see any evidence here of any plaque buildup. So we're just going to take a picture for the report. We'll save that. And then the other thing that we do is we measure the thickness of the artery wall. So we're just going to move back a little ways here and let the machine get a reading on that for us. Your artery is moving quite a bit, so it's having a little trouble, so I'm just going to try to freeze it. There we go. So now we got our reading. We're going to save that. And once we're done, I'll show you the report. We'll see how your thickness compares to the age group, to your age group. So now I'm going to have to do the other side, but it's exactly the same thing. So whatever I said on this side also applies to the other side. So you're going to have to turn your head the other way. Probably won't be able to get as good a picture. <laughs> But it's the same thing, pretty much. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. So first we'll do the wall thickness measurement on this side. This side it's not bouncing around so much, so it should be a little bit easier. Yep. Okay. And then we'll make sure there's no plaque on this side. Look at that bifurcation point. It looks nice and clean. Looks very good. So we'll go ahead and take a picture of that. Save it, clean you off, okay, and we're done. So now we'll just uh, go back out. You can go ahead and get up. Turn that off. So here's the report. And uh, we can also print this out for you. So, let's see, I believe that like that. So, the top half of the report is your right carotid artery data, and the bottom half of the report is your left carotid artery data. So, what we have here on the right here's your bifurcation point. That's where the plaque usually shows up first, no evidence of any plaque. We move back a little bit further and we check the wall thickness measurement. It was 0 0.609 millimeters. We then put it into a database of about 7,000 people with the age range and the thickness range. And the blue line is the median thickness. So this is the reflection of how this goes up as we get older. You can see it gets thicker. So if you're thinner, if you're below that blue, that's your, your arteries healthier. So it's physiologically younger. So you can see you're below the blue line, you're down closer to the green line, which is the 25th percentile, so your artery wall has accumulated less cholesterol over the 
lifetime, basically. And the other side is pretty, uh, sig pretty similar. Um, you're a little bit thicker, 0.656 millimeters, but you're still below the blue line, so you're less than the average thickness. Again, slightly lower risk, and that's where we did the measurement on that side. And again, on this side, there was no evidence of any plaque. So that's a good result. So as a result of this, I would put you into a lower risk group for mm -hmm. heart disease and for stroke. And we'll just, uh, oh no, I got to print it onto, onto this little uh, thing here. And we can save it that way.